Hi guys, uh, today we're gonna cover uh, first exercise, how we start in, a, in general kettlebell lifting, it's a swings. Uh, sometimes that's what I'm always recommend. If you teach somebody or you learning for yourself, swings, it's like a basic uh, base exercise, how you start get the kettlebells from the ground. And uh, before we start, uh, Talking about technique points, uh, I would like to talk a little bit what kind of equipment, what you need for this exercise. Because I have a lot of questions online, uh, what kind of kettlebells I'm going to use, what uh, it's really interesting. Because in the market right now, it's a lot of different, uh, different exercise too and different uh, kettlebells also. And questions, uh, what kind of kettlebells you have to use. Really, I'm personally, I'm uh, manufactured the kettlebells before and I'm really put a lot of um, experience how kettlebells have to look, why it's look like that. Of course, it's like a ball and a handle, right? Really, what, what, what specific it should be. But uh, kettlebells, uh, it's a really important, it's a handle and uh, size inside, but uh, really let's uh, get back a little bit what kind of, uh, really people call this competition kettlebells. I call this uh, prograde kettlebells. That's first production what we did. And uh, other kettlebells, it's uh, precision kettlebells. It's uh, with flat spots for uh, really when you lift kettlebells and work in overhead position, it's really get your life a little bit easier. But uh, if you're asking me, can I do something other kettlebells? Yes, you can for this specific exercise, but really you don't wanna, for one exercise, use this kettlebells, for other exercise, you have to do another kettlebells, or people say sometimes, if I, I have to do, so that's what I'm a little bit, uh, make a point uh, if you have competition kettlebells it's not you have to do this kettlebells in a competition you have to buy if you want to do compete yes you have to buy no if you even do fitness or you don't have any plans to compete you can get the kettlebells also and do some uh, workout for your personal reason for fitness. That's why it's uh, not working. If you want to do competition, you want to compete, you have to buy this kettlebells. Or if you want to do fitness, you have to get another kettlebells. It's not uh, necessarily like that because I'm personally not compete for so many years. I'm not do competition, but I'm still working out uh, inside the truck with these kettlebells. Uh, why? Because I feel it's more comfortable and uh, more make sense how it's looking. Because you see the other kettlebells, it's a um, uh, small, bigger, 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 uh, depends on how many pounds your kettlebells it's going up, right? If it's uh, weights of kettlebells going up, size of kettlebells going up too. Uh, why I'm a little bit, it's working, but I don't like it personally because uh, we working on technique too, right? We have to uh, learn in some technique points. If, for example, if you start with uh, uh, 18 pounds kettlebells, size like that, and uh, uh, going up uh, with heavy kettlebells, make a progression, you're not gonna be feel difference because, for example, I get this uh, especially for you. We uh, get the kettlebells. It's a nine pounds kettlebells. You see how it's like same size uh, kettlebells, but really it's uh, eight pounds. I get this specifically uh, for, I like this kettlebells because I'm not working out with this kettlebell, but somebody, maybe really, maybe kids, maybe, uh, really beginners can get really light kettlebells 
and uh, work, work out and start feeling how it's work, really. And uh, same size, I got even 100 up to 159 pounds. It's really cool. That's why I get the scale balls to handle right now to explain to you points and I'm not get tired because it's like a heavy. It's, uh, I like the scale balls. What else? Uh, yes, belts, not necessarily because I call this uh, belts. It's really working how you, when you can tie your really, I can explain, I can show how you can really Yeah, I have a microphone. But anyway, you uh, before I'm used it, when I've been professional, I've been using this uh, belts for make sure my t-shirts not coming out from my pants because uh, t-shirts it was important when uh, it's really important when you do one arm jerk or basically two arm jerk when you leave the two kettlebells. Yes, you wanna keep your uh, T-shirts inside the pants and a little bit tight your back. Really, it's uh, I'm personally not use anymore. Maybe if I'm lift heavy kettlebells, yes, I'm gonna do it. Uh, use the belts. Really, not necessarily. It's up to you. You can if you feel comfortable, a little bit tight your body. Sometimes if you have a you know, people. B bigger body, they want to feel a little bit tight, a little bit safe. Yes, you can do it. All right.